My name is Amaruk Weiss. I'm the West Coast Wolf Organizer for the Center for Biological Diversity. I've spent decades fighting to protect wolves, and in the last 40 years, there have been some breathtaking success stories in wolf recovery in this country. When I think of wolves, I think of 832F, who might have been the most famous wolf in the world. Smart alpha female, the gorgeous gray coat, and with a personality so dazzling and a spirit so fearless that even the wildlife biologists called her a rock star. For years, she was the leader of the Lamar Canyon Pack in Yellowstone National Park. Scientists were able to study her continuously and their observations expanded our knowledge of wolf behavior. But one day last year, this wondrous animal wandered just outside the park's boundaries and was shot and killed by a hunter. Nearly every American wolf may soon face this same risk and this same fate because in June of 2013, the Obama administration proposed to strip the protections of the Federal Endangered Species Act from nearly every wolf in the lower 48. If enacted, this proposal could reverse 40 years of wolf recovery and could threaten the long-term survival of the wolf in our country. I hope you'll spend a few minutes with me to learn why it's vital we keep these protections and I hope that you will take action on behalf of wolves. The wolf was once the most widely ranging land mammal on the planet with nearly two million wolves in North America alone. But by the early 1900s, the wolf had been driven to near extinction in the lower 48 by government-sponsored mass killings undertaken at the urging of the livestock industry. Thankfully, our attitudes changed. In 1973, our nation passed the Federal Endangered Species Act. At the time, there were only a few hundred wolves left in the 48 states. The passage of the Endangered Species Act brought the wolf back to Yellowstone National Park in the Northern Rocky Mountains, to small regions of the southwestern United States, and expanded their tiny population in Minnesota into Michigan and Wisconsin. Today, there are about 5,500 wolves in the continental U.S., but the job's not done, and that's not enough to sustain their long-term survival. Wolves today occupy only 5% of their historic habitat. And scientists tell us there are hundreds of thousands of square miles of unoccupied prime wolf habitat remaining in Colorado, California, the Northeast, and the Pacific Northwest. Tragically, the Obama administration wants to abandon wolf recovery. Without the protections of the Endangered Species Act, our wolves will be turned over to state wildlife agencies who intend to institute aggressive hunting and trapping seasons designed to reduce wolf populations to the bare minimum. In just two years' time, in those states where federal protections for wolves have already been lifted, nearly 2,000 wolves have been killed. We shouldn't be killing wolves. We should be working to restore them to their rightful place on the landscape. Wolves' natural hunting practices lead to stronger herds of elk and deer and healthier populations of beaver, streamside plants, birds, and fish. Wolves play an essential role in a healthy, balanced, natural world, and it's a role that no other species can fill. Wolf recovery's made a great start, and even though we will never again see two million wolves in North America, the job's not done. And we can't let this administration throw away 40 years of wolf recovery success. If the wolf is going to continue to play the natural role it's played for eons, we need to keep wolf recovery moving forward. Forty years ago, America made a commitment to save our wolves. We're not there yet. That's why the center, as well as our allies and thousands of people across the country, are fighting for protections for wolves. Wolves deserve better, and so do the wild places that we all cherish. Join us in this fight for more information, please visit our website at biologicaldiversity.org, and thanks for watching.